Let's face it, homework is never going to win any popularity contest. In fact, there's a whole genre of memes about how much people hate homework. I mean, just look, oh my God, there's so many of them. Look at all, there's so many memes. It's no secret that homework is a big source of stress in the daily lives of students. Assignments can feel so tedious when they take hours to do. And there's growing debate over the value of homework. It's not just about students being lazy. There's opponents that think it's an unnecessary stressor and actually contributes to inequity in education, particularly for low-income students. Today we're asking, how much homework in high school is too much? So in the US, there isn't really a standard amount of homework high school students get. It varies teacher by teacher, school by school. The amount even varies all over the world. Just look at this graph. Check it out. In the US, we get over twice as much homework as South Korea. South Korea's ranked the number one best education system by a Pearson review. And well, we're number 17. And like, what's up with Italy over here? They're getting 8.7 hours per week and they're number 25. Must be rough over there in Italy, man. Okay, now back to America. We figured it was pretty important to hear straight from students about this topic since they're the ones actually doing the homework. So we turned to our friends from Youth Beat in Oakland, California. They are student reporters with PBS News, our student reporting labs. This is Jonathan, Olin, Yo. and Serena. They helped research, write, and produce this episode. First, I checked in with Jonathan, who's not exactly a slacker. He's on all city council and reporting this episode on top of all his regular homework. So Jonathan, What's All City Council and what are you hearing from students? All City Council is the student union for the Oakland School District and we represent the 37,000 students who are within the public education system. Man, we are tired of doing homework, you know. A lot of students have obligations outside of school. There's students who've come to me and be like, yo, I can't go to this meeting because I have to work and do homework. Um, there's some assignments that are online because teachers are using Google Classroom. Not everyone has access to technology, to a computer or a tablet. So how do you get that homework done and keep up with the workload when you don't don't have access to those materials. Some teachers are starting to take notice. The reporters talked to Kathleen Bailey, a teacher at Oakland Technical High School in Oakland, California, who doesn't really assign her students any homework. I just asked my students today how many of them have jobs. There were nine students in one class that had jobs. There were 11 students in another. And if you're going home from school and you got to get from one place to another in Oakland, you got to get to work, you get home at 1030 and you're thinking about homework, that's just like a recipe for a mental breakdown, I think. I don't really enjoy doing homework. You know, personally, I have a lot of extracurriculars that I participate in. Like, I'm the Black Student Union president at Skyline. I'm the media director for All City Council Student Union, and I partake in KDOL Youth Beat. And so with all those different things going on for me after school, it gets hard for me to focus on just one thing. Um, and I do realize academics are important, right? But I feel like these extracurriculars help me build as a person and also build out my resume. I can see how it could be hard for students to figure out what to prioritize. So no homework is probably sounding pretty good to you right about now. But we have to acknowledge that homework isn't all bad. Take it from our youth student reporter, Olin. There are actually a lot of studies that show there are benefits to doing homework. Like this meta-analysis that looked at a whole bunch of research on homework from 1987 to 2003. The authors concluded that, with only rare exceptions, the relationship between the amount of homework students do and their achievement outcomes was found to be positive and statistically significant. This just means that homework helps students perform better. And in case y'all are wondering what a meta-analysis is, it's basically a study that looks at a lot of different studies in a systematic way. But it might be that only a certain amount of homework is beneficial. We looked at a study that found that too much homework can actually hurt students. Check this out. Researchers surveyed over 4,000 students in 10 high-performing wealthy high schools in California. The students surveyed averaged over three hours of homework a night. And the researchers found that more time spent on homework is associated with greater stress, more compromised health, and less time for family, friends, and other extracurricular pursuits. The authors cautioned against assigning heavy homework loads. And the National Education Association and the National Parent Teacher Association recommend the 10-minute rule when it comes to homework. This means students should receive only 10 minutes of homework per grade per night. Uh, sometimes my teacher would even tell me, you know, oh, just take an hour to do this assignment. And I'm thinking, well, if I have seven classes and each class tells me to do either 10 minutes to an hour, that's already an hour to like seven hours I have to devote just to homework after school. 
And it's not just the amount of time you're spending on homework. Some experts say that homework should have a clear connection to what students are learning. It just can't be busy work. The main thing with homework, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is that the kids gotta know why they're doing it. That's Bob Kelly. He's been a teacher for 21 years. He thinks homework can be a valuable tool for certain students and classes. In my regular U.S. history class, um, we don't have homework. The only homework that they get is um, anything that they don't finish in class. If they're messing around or something like that, then they got to take it home and get it done before the next class. Um, whereas in my, uh, my AP classes, um, they have to read two chapters a week and they have to analyze those chapters. And, and so the whole idea is that they'll come to school understanding what we haven't talked about yet. They'll have a basic understanding and then we take their basic understanding and we build off of it. And this kind of rigorous homework in advanced classes can help students prepare for the intensity of classes that they'll have in college. But if these homework heavy college prep classes best prepare students for college, where does that leave low income students with conflicting obligations that can't complete their homework? How do you balance the potential benefits you get from completing homework with the real world needs of students? Homework is tricky, man. So tell us, what do you think? How should homework be handled? What is a fair amount of homework? Let us know in the comments below. Again, a big shout out to the student reporters at YouthBeat. If you wanna hear more from PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, be sure to check out this video on school dress codes and this video on active shooter drills. Check it out. Check it out like she said. <laughs> and again, you know, we're above the noise and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Oh my God. <laughs>